All right, everybody. So today I'm with Gray. He is a DBOG developer who is on the development team big time. You know, he's one of the guys making this possible. And I'm going to go ahead and interview him, ask him some questions uh, regarding DBOG and the creation of the game. And hopefully answer a lot of your guys' concerns and questions because let's just say that there's big changes coming to DBOG. Uh, you ready, Gray? Hey, yeah, let's do it. Okay, okay. So my first question, this is one that I see probably the most, or if not, like, top two. Uh, why was Legendary Super Saiyan removed, and why was it replaced with Savior from Heaven? Yeah, so to kind of keep things short, um, we wanted to reserve Legendary Super Saiyan for future paths and a couple of other cool things to expect. And so we were thinking of what, you know, what we could change it for. So we decided on the Savior from Heaven form, which we just thought was pretty cool and unique. And I think fit the Legendary form a little bit more than Legendary Super Saiyan did. Mm -hmm. um, and, and some people were wondering why it didn't just like replace Legendary Super Saiyan in the sense where you didn't have to do the quest again. Um, yeah, I mean... It was, it was, it was going to be a little bit more tricky than we'd expect to replace it. That's one of the things we had in mind was just replacing it. However, it proved to be way more challenging than we thought it would with how currently DVOG is set up. Um, going forward, we'd like to find better ways to prevent having to lose anything. Uh, that's the last thing we'd ever want. Um, but it was more so just something we had to do with the cards we were dealt. So it's just like... It's how DBOG is scripted. It's it's scripted kind of weirdly, and over time, there's going to be, like, repairs to that, so that way that stuff like this is going to be prevented, right? Yeah, essentially. Okay, because it's... I know... I don't know anything about coding except for the fact that it can be really a pain in the butt and confusing and hard... Like, if you mess up some word down the line, it can be really hard to correct it if other stuff is built on that. Yeah, especially with how old DBOG is, because a yeah. lot of people don't understand that it's, like, from 2019, 2020. You know, it's it's been a couple years at this point. Yeah, and coding so the code's old. has evolved a little bit, I'd assume. Yeah, correct, yeah. Okay, so with paths, so a while ago, path, the idea of paths was brought up, and now we're bringing it up again. So correct. paths were confirmed, and they were deconfirmed, now they're confirmed again. Will paths yep. be limited once you choose one? Um, so we're still debating the idea of what we want to do. We'll eventually ask the community when it's time to kind of pick an answer. Um, we're either stuck between, no, there's no way you can ever change it, or you would be able to change paths regarding maybe something like a Dragon Wish or a Shenron Wish, um, something along those lines. Um, it's just something we haven't fully decided yet, but we'd love for the community to give us their opinions once we go ahead and start actually beginning the work on the paths. Okay. And then will other races see paths like Saiyans? Because we've only really discussed Saiyan paths. Um, yeah, we have paths planned for every single race, and we have something called generalized paths, which are basically paths that any race can go no matter what. Um, an example would be like the Kao Ken uh, mastery path, where you can advance your Kao Ken stages, and Kao Ken's become incredibly useful. Gotcha. So, now that that's out of the way, it's time for big question number two, which is what everybody's probably here for. So, uh, I'll start with this, and then I'll ask a follow-up question. So, how long does it take to develop updates for DBOG? So, specifically, what do you consider to be a small update, a medium update, and a large update? And how long does it take each of those to be developed? Yeah, so with, there's a couple of things to really look at. Defining what a small, medium, and large is kind of, you know, it, it's hard to kind of pick and choose which one I consider. For me, if you take a look at what some of the things we've done, um, when we first updated DBOG with a brand new team, um, that was a medium-sized update where we kind of overhauled a lot of systems, we improved the lighting, uh, we fixed a bunch of things, a bunch of bugs that have been, you know, in the game for a bit. That I would consider that a medium-sized update, uh, something that would take anywhere from two to three, maybe four weeks. 
Um, as for small updates, that's every one to two weeks. Uh, an example would be of what happened Thursday night. Uh, that's a consideration of a small update where we may maybe throw a couple new skills, a couple new clothes, etc. Just small fixes and stuff. I'd consider that a small update. Large update for us would be maybe like, you know, when we implement Boo Saga. Uh, that's what I consider a large update where it's actual hard level based content and where, you know, the players take a while to kind of progress and go through. And how long does it take? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge for one of those big <laughs> updates. What's the time? Yeah, like? uh, that'll vary depending on complexity, whereas yeah. some large updates are as simple as like one map, you know, 20 missions. Another one could be maybe three maps, 25 missions. So it all really depends on what's needed for the update exactly, how many unique mechanics are coming. Mm -hmm. um, but I would say anywhere from maybe... any it's, it's a wider range, but anywhere from two to four months, realistically. Okay. And so we talk about mechanics, stuff like that. What are we looking at with the Boo Saga update? Because we know that's the next big, big update. Mm -hmm. What what are we expecting from that? What's that going to look like without without spoiling too much, but stuff that you might have already said in like my live stream or in the Discord server, you can go ahead and say again if you'd yes. like. What are we so looking at? So I'll go at? ahead and start with one of the things that won't come with. It will not come with paths. That's going to be a separate update. Right. So, you know, don't expect Super Saiyan 4 or Super Saiyan God to come out with Boo Saga. That's not happening. Uh, simply said, we want more time and preparation for that to come in through. But we've got ideas for placements, such as some things that will come with Boo Saga would be like Patara. Um, that's one of the main things. And, and introducing kind of a unique mechanic with it. Um, to where it's something different than fusion, you know, something a little bit better, a little bit more hard to achieve, but worthwhile. Um, the basics, you know, Busaka story, uh, a nice new map, uh, a couple skills, some mentors, some exciting raids. There's a really cool raid that we've got coming with Busaga. Things of that nature. So Patara, um, raids. Uh, is there a new world for Busaga? Yes, that will be the final big new world. Okay. So we're looking at a huge update with Boo Saga. And this is this is going to be the last traditional, I, I, I say with air quotes, traditional DBOG update. Yeah, correct. Um, realistically, the, the Saga maps and everything, they take too long. And we're looking um, to change that. Yeah, and luckily, I think after Boo... Every arc in Dragon Ball Super and Dragon Ball GT is relatively smaller compared to the size of Dragon Ball Z. Z has more has like four main arcs and it spans three hundred episodes, while Super has like like what five five arcs. I think it's six, six technically. Yeah, and like so we count Battle of Gods, Resurrection F, six versus seven, Goku Black, and then would we count everything before the Turn of Power as an arc? Or would we just um, count all of that as an arc? I would count that as an arc because there was that weird the like, tournament set of, like, exhibition. Yeah, there was like a weird set of like five to six episodes where it was like on that planet with Copy Vegeta, like the purple yeah. slug and such thingy. That happened for like four or five episodes, I think. But that's not really an arc that we would explore. Yeah, it'd be like yeah, it, stuff like that. You know, it wouldn't be anything main. So it, it'd be like yeah, Ralph, Ravel of Battle of Gods, U uh, six versus U seven um goku black goku black and terminal power maybe the exhibition could be thrown in there and then obviously broly and superhero yeah broly superhero movie and then for gt you have baby uh super 17 dude don't uh, forget about like rildo and lude come on bro who lord lude and general rildo come on who? gray that's those are big arcs uh when, when is OG Dragon Ball coming, Gray? I need Inashikacho as a boss raid. In... <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't think... <laughs> Inashikacho <laughs> not confirmed for DBOG? That sucks. I, I, I think I will. I think I'll say it's not confirmed. Okay. Not confirmed, but not denied. We'll say. We'll leave it at that. Um, you know what? Yeah, we can leave it at that. Yeah, yeah. So that makes sense how, like, a Z arc is literally, like, 100 episodes almost. Yeah, versus yeah. like super being 100 episodes and gt literally is like 63 or something like that yeah 
And so with the like what what are we going to look at like what is an update going to look like a big update post the boo saga for dbog yeah so at that point it's going to contain maybe one to two um i guess we call them story arcs so for example and this isn't me confirming anything more so just kind of talking as a hypothetical it could be like uh baby arc and battle of gods would come out together at the same time Mm -hmm. um in different you know methods with maybe you know content forms um to us i think paths would be considered a large update because paths aren't gonna be you know very bare bones and simple like oh level 400 you could pick a path no it's gonna have a whole system to it so i would consider that like a big update um essentially boost saga is more like past a big update i would say it's, it's past like the large update i feel like it's like it's an enormous update yeah, it's like the huge, huge update where it's like the whole saga. You know, that's that's big. Which is After why that, they it's going to so go long. back to large. Yeah, and then large updates would be, like I said, two to four months. More so sticking closer to the two than the four. Yeah. That's the hope. So, with the hope idea, mm -hmm. what what is this hope based off of? Because, you know, we have this new dev team. Right. What is that? What is what are we looking at like that? Like why why is now different than before? Yeah, for so those who don't exactly know the whole story without giving the entire story, uh Chang stepped up as owner and Sonny stepped down as essentially the co owner. Um this gives Sonny a lot more free time to kind of worry about just developing and scripting and working on what he wants to do. Rather than having to manage all the other devs, making sure everything's in line, doing this, doing that, doing all of this, there is a lot less work on his hand. And now Chang has the opportunity to stand up and do a lot more and, you know, delegate and get a lot more people involved. Um, I've been able to step up and help in several regards to development as well, as well as taking a big push in management and making sure everyone's on task. Uh, we've got... Um, two new side scripters as well one that primarily focuses on bugs and fixes and another one that focuses more on content um so there's a, a more powerful team kind of put together and organized in a way where we all know what we're doing we all know what we want and we're just doing it at that point um so there's a lot more motivation i'd say and a lot more drive to kind of get things done now that everything's kind of shaped up to be in a much better environment I'm going to come back to the dev team, but I asked that question and like, why, why is, you know, why are we expecting the next big update sooner? Why is that going to be so amazing as compared to before how we've waited so long and maybe for something lackluster? Oh, you gave, yeah, no, I mean, you gave the reasoning, the new yeah. dev team and everything. So what is that next update looking like? And I'm not just talking about Boo Saga, like what's the next thing we're looking forward to as of right now we've just come off the akatsuki robe update mm -hmm. so what so, is what is next and maybe if it's a, another small update like that what is the next like sort of medium thing we're looking forward to so the next I'll, I'll start with this the small updates don't have very big planning it's more so we kind of get together, notice a couple things, and get it done. Yeah. Mediums have planning involved. And I'll just go ahead and kind of discuss the medium a bit. It's going to be Halloween, right? That's coming up. It's always been a staple in DBOG, but we wanted to make it a little bit more advanced and interesting. Um, I, without giving away the details and spoiling everybody, it's very cool. It's, it's different than what you're used to, because before... Uh, it's not going to be the know, same kind of weird copy-paste raid. Yeah, you don't fight Mira and Toa and get Halloween drops anymore. No, it's an actual Halloween themed update. There's so. jump scares coming, guys, is what he means. <laughs> no promises. But um <laughs> No, yeah, we're very excited. We've started working on all of this. Um we have a lot of stuff done already. We're about, I wanna say like forty percent done with what we need to get done on our end. It's just about finding a good time to release, enough time to test everything and make sure everything works, and um, just getting the rest done. Um, but there's a lot of this update already kind of done, and it's been working on before the small update. Because the small update, what let lets us do is when we're working on these medium to large size updates, 
we can get these small updates out while working because they're not big. It's not hard to do that stuff. Um, so ever since we dropped the last medium sized update, which was about a week ago, um, we've been working. <laughs> I mean, to put it simply, I mean, it's we've been working on the hollow the Halloween update and we even got a small update out and we've been doing bug fixes consistently. Um, I believe not too long. I think two days ago, we fixed about six major bugs that have been in the game for a while and some new that appeared. Um, so, I mean, yeah, I mean, look forward to the Halloween update. It's going to be fun. It's going to be huge. I'm, I, I'm already, I'm already liking this update a lot. And from what we've been developing, <laughs> I, I mean, I love the stuff we're working on. I think it's really cool. So I'm, I'm looking forward for everyone to kind of see it in game. And once we announce it and do some proper sneaks and maybe even a trailer, you know, we can show it off a little bit. Gotcha. What does the process look like of making an update like that or a big DBOG update or just whatever, whatever. What is the process of making a DBOG update? Because I want to reiterate that update that we got about a week ago, it took them three days of actual work to make it. Because you told me on live stream, it took five days, kind of. So day one was Sony stepped down and Chang mm -hmm. stepped up. Day two was planning, and then it took three days of work, and you put out that big update. Yeah, uh, essentially. Um, so what is it? How how does the process look like for making an update like that? If you so could go into more detail. Right now, the process is once we get a medium sized update down, we immediately start planning the next. The second, uh, even before we released the update, I was already starting on the plans for the next one. Um. I don't want to say I'm the head of planning, but I'm the one that kind of writes it all down and makes sure it stays organized. Um, Cause it's more, so a, more so a joint effort of what we want in the update. Um, but right now I've got a Google doc <laughs> that has quite literally everything with any sort of information I need for this, for the Halloween update. It's got everything listed. Everything's prepared. If any question were to arise, all that would need to be done would be to just look at this Google doc and it would be here. Um, so essentially spending a good day, day and a half planning everything out making sure everything's been fully thought of from start to finish granted surprises will happen as things do of course um so they can delay and change a couple things but regardless the goal is to kind of work on it and make sure it's all planned out in one area so uh, the big step is planning it all out and making sure it's all here so now the entire team is on in one single you know, they're all on the same page. We're all here. We're all looking at what we're doing. You know, it's not like, you know, we need to DM this person, wait for them to respond to figure out what needs to be worked on here. That doesn't happen anymore. Everything is here in one concise page. Everyone's active. And yeah, everybody's active. We're all multiple group chats, multiple uh, uh, test servers, multiple testers. Like everyone's in, everyone's involved. The testers are able to come in and help us out. The devs, we are kind of on the same page. We're working for the same thing. We have the same goals. Everyone's kind of on on track to doing what they got to do. With that being said, how's the morale? Are y'all <laughs> y'all just happier now? You it seems like what you said multiple group chats. I'm assuming that's just little subsections of different people working together on different things and and who needs to be involved with that. Like it just mm -hmm. seems like you guys are ecstatic about all this. Yeah, dude, everyone's hyped. Um, we got a group chat for builders, so all the builders are on the same page building things. We've got the scripters all in the all in the same group, communicating, documenting, discussing what they've done and what they're doing. So even then, a, a big difficult part is having the people who script all know exactly what's been changed. And that's something we, we really started working on here is discussing what we change and how we change it and making sure everyone's on the same page as to why it happened. Um, so we're excited there. Um, the test server, the uh, we call it the inner circle. All the testers are kind of aware of what's going on. Even then, we got want to kind of surprise the testers a bit. So some of the testers don't know everything, but um, yeah, I mean everyone's happy and excited. I mean everyone's developing at a consistent state, and I mean everybody. You know, it's no longer um, th there should no longer be any issues with regarding a dev that doesn't want to work unless it's like their PC broke down or something. You know. Something like that, where they physically can't work. Gotcha. The, the hype is real. Uh, basically, that's to exciting. My, yeah. my yapping, that's like, very it's, good. It's, hype is real. Because that you used to always hear drama and and oh, this person isn't working. Blah 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 blah. 
and yeah, now that, it's that seems to be behind us hopefully yeah it's a part in my tongue that ball doesn't fly anymore it's yeah if it happens it's cut that's as simple as that no more no more bs okay okay sweet 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 um let's get into a little bit of discussing some changes hopefully what are some things you guys look to improve on with dbog with the new team and this is going to be the last question about the team i believe or the last major one so Mm -hmm. what is the team how how is the team mostly impacting how we're improving dbog as compared to the way the old team was doing things I guess we you've mm-hmm. you've gone so deep in previous questions that that might just be a rinse and repeat, just more concise. Yeah. And there's a part I mean, two I... to that question, which is um, talking about the game itself. What are things in DBOG itself that the team wants to improve on? Yes. So I mean, the team realistically we want to improve it all, but realistically, that's unrealistic. Um, to answer the first per- question, basically, I mean, the biggest thing is having everyone on the same page. Yeah. Um, Sounds now like that it. we're all together, you know, there's no miscommunication and people doing what they want. It's everything is, everything has its purpose. You know? You're a unit. Yeah. Um, and that, that's the primary thing, you know, if it wasn't for how things transpired, this, this wouldn't be happening. I think, you know, it, it, the conversations needed to be had. And they were held so that, you know, that really improved that. And I mean, there's a lot of things we want to improve. We want to improve visuals, which we started on, um, ergo, the lighting changes. Um, me and me and I will say me and Wallworks were just playing one night for a few hours, like for the first time in forever, me and him were just playing the game for fun. And mm-hmm. that's one thing we noticed when we were taking pictures and like just posing or just doing stuff. The light, the game looks incredible. Yep. Um, before, and I'll go through this quickly so we can get back on track here, before the DBOG used the 2014 compatibility lighting, which is like Roblox's first lighting engine. Mm-hmm. And that's being deprecated, which if some of you that don't know what that means is it's no longer being supported by Roblox itself, which means that DBOG had to migrate no matter what. Um, so we took it upon ourselves to, instead of migrating to like a version that hasn't really changed too much to the version that really improves games and gives it that futuristic lighting where light can reflect, not re- sorry, not reflect, reflect and refract properly off of, you know, materials and everything just looks a little bit better, sharper, cleaner, crispier alongside a better ish day and night cycle, adding atmosphere instead of fog, things of yeah. that nature. And there's more to improve, mind you. And to continue the question with the visuals, I mean, some of those auras that we've had before don't look so great. But if you look at some of the quality now, for example, the Savior of Heaven form, that's a whole amazing. other story. Look, the aura is amazing on it. If you look at Ancient State for Kanasan, it's a whole different story. It looks much better. If you look at Chaotic Kai, it's much better. The base aura has been improved. Um, so we're making changes in a lot of ways to a lot of the skills. And some of the new, new stuff you'll see in the Halloween update will show you that this is where kind of the skills are evolving to and going to. And you'll see what I mean once you guys are able to see either a sneak or a, um, um, a good trailer regarding it. Mm -hmm. um apart from that um we just want to improve as much as we can overall so you know it's kind of just picking and choosing right yeah um there's so much (laughs) at this point it it really is picking and choosing because we're in the rebuilding phase yeah and we don't want to spend all our time rebuilding because at that point yeah we wouldn't be going anywhere it's gonna take forever yeah you're just you're 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 taking steps forward, but every time you do, it feels like you're taking a step backward because there's not really as much excitement. Yeah. And we... So essentially, it's like going through and picking and choosing what we want to improve. Like, next update, you might see some of the other auras get improved. Um, yeah. The update after that, you'll see, I don't know, maybe all the maps have atmosphere instead of fog, I think some maps still have fog. Um, yeah. Just things of that nature. So what what we're saying is we are focusing on everything all at once and building it all together. And we're mm-hmm. picking and choosing stuff. Like, for example, if we're working on a big Halloween update, like, yes, we're going to add so much cool stuff. Everything is going to be awesome and exciting. But also, if your form still looks ugly or has a bug to it, that's going to be fixed eventually. 
just when it when we get to it but it, it's the pace of when we get to it is no longer in a year it's every week stuff is is fixing right yeah if we see something we fix it like that's 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 as probably as it's gonna be like if if right now was we're working on the halloween raid uh we discovered like something was a little bit off with some of the clothes and then we started kind of looking into it and we were like oh hey wait there's like a small error here hang on let me just fix that real quick yeah and then that evolved into you know 30 minutes to an hour of just fixing some of the clothes um but it's necessary i mean oh, yeah. there's no reason to not know about it it's just finding the moment to do it and just taking the opportunity when it presents itself because they will inevitably they will oh yeah and it, it's just I, I really like that approach to things where it's not, we're not just fixing everything, but we're not just ignoring everything because, mm -hmm. you know, to circle back when, when Super Saiyan God and Super Saiyan 4 come out, like the game is going to reach these huge peaks of hype and popularity because that's what everyone is looking forward to that, like, that's the time where these big excitement moments like will actually matter. And that's also the time where these little improvements that are adding up day by day are also just going to matter. It's going to be a new peak for the game. And, mm -hmm. like, go back to what you said, how they're not coming with Busaga. I think that's a great thing. Because when we have something as hype as that, like, adding Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan 4, and the paths, everything like that, and whatever forms are coming with that, that should be its own big update, because that genuinely is... A huge update the the process of picking your path getting the form for your path mastering that form looking at all these forms that you're going to be able to eventually get to in your path and doing it for every single race that you have is is huge yeah, absolutely and so that should be its own update i don't want that I, if you added that with the boo saga there would be too much oh you know? yeah, it would take us too long it, especially with how unique we want everything to feel you know yeah I don't want it to be like how currently like you go Super Saiyan level 100 or 200 whatever it is and spend 5,000 zenny. <laughs> yeah. And then <laughs> Super Saiyan 2 it's like 10,000 zenny. Like that's that's a little boring. Like it's it's cool getting it and you're happy once you reach it. Oh yeah. But that fades away quickly. You know the experience with past should be once you unlock it you're like all right I did this I grinded that I got this I'm ready let me do it now and then you know you unlock it and you're like you know holy crap you feel the power I did it, <laughs> I did it. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna take this thing to ranked right now and you oh, know, yeah. start fighting with it. And then you lose it in two seconds because you yep. didn't master your you form. For, you forgot you golden, to master your form. You golden Frieza. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Um. I I one thing that just popped in my head. I don't I don't want to waste time just doing little suggestions in this because this isn't the time really. Yeah. But it would be cool if when you unlock a form, you just get an hour to play with it, like an in-game timer of an hour, like not just being in the form for an hour. Like you have an hour. Period. But in that mm -hmm. hour, your form mastery doesn't go down. Okay. And you can That'd master the form in that hour. Well, no, because that would be OP because you master it way too quickly. Yeah. You get, but you can call it like the rage boost or whatever of, of unlocking a form for the first time. Like, I don't know. But that that would just be cool. I feel like people that would just be like a nice thing. You, like, yes, you just worked so hard for this form. I will give it to you for an hour. And then you have to master it. I would say an hour, maybe like three times as long for the first time you ever use it, just so you can experience it for, you know, more than 10 seconds. Yeah. Um. But no, yeah, I see where you're coming from. That makes sense. Something um, like that, because it's, it's a little undermining, like, especially when mastery is going to go up and up and up the farther we go. It's going to be like, oh boy, I got my new form, time to spend two hours mastering it. It's like, like, it doesn't take two hours, but like, if the current like mechanic for mastery stays the same mm -hmm. who knows how long it'll take eventually like i'm sure that's yeah. something you guys think about but like yeah, I mean, it's a little it... demeaning to think about like i can't wait to get super saiyan god but then i'm not even to be able to use the form you know and yeah that's where it kind of stands as in you know is mastery really the end you know that raises the questions yeah i think that mastery when it was implemented you know i feel like almost any mechanic like that that was implemented before can genuinely be revisited now with the new team because you have so much so many different brains i'm sure a lot of you guys are are much much more improved now than you were like i feel like you can revisit things like mastery or kaioken 
or yeah. other world stuff just little mechanics like that that that's the thing we're good but now time has passed maybe we can make them better yeah i mean yeah, i'll be honest with you we have <laughs> yeah <laughs> we've already revisited and planned like we've oh, gotten yeah. to that stage where we're also planning and talking 24 7 that's just part of the hype where as we're working we're thinking and getting our minds involved and actually you know thinking of what we want to see and that's where conversations arise and plans begin as well not just for now but for the future oh, so yeah. when the time comes to fully put it on paper we're like hey we discussed this a while back you want to go back to that and we're like yeah let's do it and then boom it's done yeah there's a lot of stuff that's been reconsidered and uh, in conversations over the past week i've vc'd more with the dev team this past week than i have maybe two uh, like a year from now I'm not yeah, even kidding it's, with it's crazy like i i think that i think it's so amazing that you like this turnaround for the game for sure um the scene that popped in my head when i thought about that was like goku fighting beerus like he he gets a good while to fight beerus in god form but then he loses it and that <laughs> yeah. it, bro didn't master his form bro. his mastery yeah. ran out ran out you know but and then he, he got really, really angry. Yeah, but he got... <laughs> he super sane. He, he, um... It, just to me, like, I feel like that really is a moment in the anime we can connect to as players, maybe, to compare the gameplay experience. Whereas Goku achieved this new form, but it was in such a dire moment, he had to use it. He didn't have time to master it. But he, yeah. he got enough time fighting as a Super Saiyan God. Like, he... We saw the form for more than literally a combo string of DBOG, you know, like, and I, I feel like that's something like, okay, you got the new form for the first time. Let's go have fun. Let's do the thing. Let's quote unquote fight, you know, the boss or whatever. And after that, it's, you calm down a little bit. The rush goes away. It's like, okay, I got my form. I'm going to go to bed tomorrow. It's time to master it. Yeah. you know something like that maybe yeah no totally i mean i completely get where you're coming from that's just something we'd have to bring to the team and see where we stand on that you yeah know? I, I, mean, I i think that a lot of people would appreciate that 